Hi everyone, welcome back to this video series on getting started with Ableton Live Lite. So in the last video, I showed you how to program some basic drum patterns into clips in Session View. Now let's start adding some other musical elements to build up the layers of the track. In this video, I'm going to program a melodic bass line which will act as a foundation to add some more parts on top. Let's go! So before we get started, one thing I want to mention is about going into the red or clipping, as this can cause the mix to become distorted as we start adding more layers to our song. If I just adjust the track volume and turn it up, you can see it goes into the red on the master channel here. So we don't want that, we're going to bring that down and that's going to give us a bit more headroom when we start adding tracks. OK, so now we've got the beat, we're going to look for a bass sound. So we've just been working on this one drum track here. I'm now going to go over to this MIDI track and I'm going to set the record arm on so we can monitor this channel. And we're also going to go back to the first scene so we can record into the adjacent slot. OK, so let's look for some bass sounds. So I'm going to go to the sound section here and open up bass. There we go. And and in the same way as we did with the drums, as we're flicking between the sounds, we can audition them at the same time. And we can do that either by clicking on the sound or just using the up and down arrow keys as well. Now I quite like this organ bass, sounds very, very housey. So let's make sure we're selected on this track, double click, and you can see that it's just loaded in. OK, so just so you can see the notes that I'm playing, I'm just going to bring up a thing called the virtual MIDI keyboard. There we go. So I'm just going to play along with the beat and see if I can come up with an idea. Oh, quite like that one there, that was really good. Now you may have noticed that I didn't press overdub and record anything into a clip. But there's a fantastic feature in Ableton Live which is called Capture. And what Live is doing is actually capturing everything that's going on, whether you hit record or not. So we just have to click on this button here. And you can see that it's come up amazingly there. Now it's a little bit out of time, it's not quantized, but I'm sure we can fix that. And we can do that just by pressing Command U. There we go. And remember we set the groove for the drums, well we can apply that groove to this bass line as well. Now I don't think we want any of these other parts that I recorded in, we just want these two bars here. So I'm going to do the similar thing I did before, I'm going to use the crop clip function. So press Control and click to bring up the menu, and crop clip, there we go. So I think we can duplicate that clip to the next clip slot just by pressing Command D. But it might be quite nice for this scene here to create a slight variation of the bass line. So let's bring back the keyboard again. And this time, rather than using capture, I'm going to try recording directly into the clip. Now what's very useful for this is to give ourselves a count using the metronome. And we can do that just by clicking here and setting the count into one bar. We can also actually change the sound of the metronome. Um, so we can change it, for example, to the wood sound, particular favourite of mine. And we can also change the volume of our click as well. So let's just put that on. So let's try recording in a slight variation of that bass line. I played a slight wrong note at the end, but never mind. OK, so this time I'm going to change the quantize settings. Um, so rather than quantizing to the grid, I want to change it to 16. So let's go to the quantize settings, 
There we go, and let's set that to sixteenths. And have a listen through and see which part of this MIDI we want to keep. Okay, I quite like this middle section here. So I'm just going to set the loop brace so it just loops around the section I want to keep. There we go, so it's four bars. Great. So let's do the same thing. Let's apply the groove and control click and crop the clip. So we can also adjust some of the parameters of this sound to change the timbre. So if I just double click on the track, we can see that this is the instrument here and there are various parameters that we can adjust. Now that we've got two sounds, we've got the drums and the organ, I just want to solo this sound so I can hear what it sounds like by itself. So if I click on the S button here, this will solo that sound. Now we can change the filter cutoff, for example and the FM setting. I really like that. Now we can actually record those parameter changes into the clip as it's playing. We're gonna press the overdub button here and that's gonna record it into the clip. And you can see that little red dot there indicates that we've recorded in something called automation, which we can actually look at. If we just double click on the clip now, and then we go over to the envelopes tab, you can see that parameter change has been recorded into the clip. Let's take it out of solo now. Now I'm just gonna lower the bass sound a little bit, just so it's balancing nicely with the drums. And now we can trigger these scenes. So we're building up the sections. Okay, so we've got a great starting point now with the drums and the bass. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to build on this by adding some chords to the track.